Buckeye State. Bucks, big bucks, lots of deer. From timbered ridges to farm fields, river bottoms to rock ledges, this state has it all. You never know, you could be set up along cornfields, soybean, winter wheat, be nestled in a stand of massive old mature oaks and maples, or <laughs> be hanging over watching a swampy bog down along the riverbanks. No matter what your preference, Ohio has every type of preferred white tail oh, cover and food source you could imagine. A state that has thousands of acres of public land to hunt that allows every hunter to have a fair chance at one of these big buckeye bucks. Ohio's deer tags are purchased over the counter and this makes for no waiting or guessing if you draw or not. When so many hunters are looking for that buck of a lifetime, many don't think to look at the Buckeye State. But if you check out the record books and see where many of today's big boys are being tagged, you might not pass up the great state of Ohio. Just remember, <laughs> hitting them is another story. Is that a bear or what? Hi, welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And on this week's show, I'll tell you what, we're taking you to a little bit of a sleeper. The Buckeye State. Ohio, that is. You know, Vic, a lot of times people talk about Kansas, Illinois, Iowa, and they don't talk a lot about Ohio, but man, they've got a lot of deer, and they got some big deer. And all we gotta do is hit them. Check this out. <laughs> One thing to keep in mind when, uh, when hunting hill country, ridge tops are a, a very good place to hunt because you can count on the wind. If you have a west wind and you're on one of these oak ridges, you're going to get a west wind. Your scent's going to travel out over the mountain and probably not affect your hunting area. Um, the particularly hard place to hunt would be inside a bowl, several benches down on the inside of a ridge where two ridges come together and create a bowl. Um, in that situation, the wind will swirl and move all around, but that's that's a prime time to use scent lock. If you're real methodical about your scent lock, you bathe, double your scent lock, double your hoods, change your hoods when they get moist, you can get away with hunting those bulls. There are states that get a lot of publicity about their deer hunting. For example, Illinois, Kansas, Iowa, and boy, everybody rushes there, trying to draw tags, wait on the phones for first come, first serve basis tag allotment programs, and that's okay. But then, there are some of those sleeper states. States that you could buy your deer tag over the counter, no hassles, no waiting, and have just as good or even better hunting than those big name states that everybody keeps writing about and rushing to. And the big Buckeye State is one of these sleeper surprises. Yes, Ohio is a state that holds some of the biggest bucks in this country. And deer, if you're looking for a lot of white tail action, we found it. From ridges to fields and everything in between, this state has it all. And if they're at the right time, you just never know what monster might walk right down the trail. The only problem is, we have to hit them. And that, my friends, is sometimes easier said than done. So for money, you keep hunting those hard to draw states, and us, well, we'll be taking our food back to the Buckeye State each and every year. For we know what this sleeper state has to offer, and we're going to take them up on it. Now this next hunt takes Heath in his home state, where, well, maybe he's got buck fever, I don't know. I don't know, check this out. There's a buck. One thing a hunter needs to know when hunting a property is food sources. Where the food is is where the deer are. You've got food, cover, water, and in hill country, contour. These are oak ridges here, mostly white oak. That's the number one food for the white-tailed deer in our area. 
that's high in protein, about 21% protein, but they produce every other year. So the years they produce, you need to know they're producing and hunt those white oak ridges. If you can find a good flat ridge with white oaks on it with, uh, with a good number of rubs, that means you've got a buck eating there in the, in the daytime probably, that would be a great place to set a stand. shooting a cyber tech with a beam and arrow, a spitfire broadhead. Come here, check out this penetration. Bad. <laughs> oh man, look at that. That's some serious power right there. Oh man, it's a good thing I didn't hit that deer. I tell you what, with that much power, I'm gonna have to blow him right in half, but oh man, what a morning. He came in, that's a 20, a 26 yard shot. Right there's where he made that scrape, but uh, there's a tree I had to shoot over. I'm not making excuses, but uh, okay, so yeah, I am. But anyway, Ralph and Vicky, you've messed up before, and uh, I'm sure this is not gonna be my last, but uh, we had a great morning. It's the second day of the hunt, and uh, we'll just keep rocking and rolling, man. It's, it's happening, so get up in the tree stand this afternoon and see what we can see. I can't believe he missed. Can you believe that? He missed. And then he turns around and says, yeah, I hit a branch. I mean, <laughs> how weak is that? Have you, ever uh, have you ever used that excuse? No. I never yeah, OK. We'll have to wait and see till after the break. We're in Ohio hunting the hill country. Um, this gives us a lot of good places to hunt, particularly the ridges and benches that tear us down from the ridges to the bottoms. The does tend to feed in the bottoms in the fertile fields and the bucks come from the ridges down to visit the does. This is an extremely good funnel here because we've got an inside corner of cover coming up and meeting here which creates a funnel for deer to stay in the cover and we have a block of cover on this mile long ridge 
probably 300 acre block of cover, and it funnels down to a 75 yard wide bench of finger of, of hardwoods that continue that would take these bucks that are cruising to other areas and other doe family groups. Part of the game. You hunt hard off season, you do a lot of practicing. You think you got everything down path, you got the best equipment that your money can afford, and it comes down to that moment of truth and well. It's you and the animal. Sometimes you win, most time they win. That's still why our choice, it is the archer's choice. <laughs> oh, well. Take me home. If you're willing to put the time and effort in on your property, sweet spots, food plots, green fields, alfalfa, white-tailed clover, clover, Winter wheat, these things create what, what we call sweet spots. They congregate does. The does feed there. The bucks come to see the does. This will pull all the deer off your ridges and bring them to one food source. If you can get a visual on good bucks coming out into these food sources early in the season, they'll be fairly docile and they won't change their pattern until the rut comes along. With a visual, you need to set up and hunt it early and hunt it as soon as you see the buck.
Sure, Buck. The mass. Oh. Man, he's bladed out everywhere. Oh. Man. Oh. Chad, congratulations. That was an awesome one. It really was. You know, and once again, the adrenaline rush and everything, but triple it when all of a sudden you're sitting there in a stand, you're looking around, and they appear from nowhere. I mean, it just. And a nice buck on top of it. Oh, yeah. But they put it together and they succeeded. They so did. They, they did it. The Buckeye boys pulled it through one more time. Hey, listen, we hope you enjoyed this week's show. And don't forget, you want to be here next week because we got some awesome bow hunting adventures for you. So remember, same time. Same station. Right, right here, here on, on The, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.